So today, me and my friends would like to present one topic, which is cell and tissue culture of the pine plant, or we call as the species of pinus. So let's check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Rizka Nier Maulida. Hello, my name is Fawazia. Hello, my name is Alicia Naomi Mashita. Today's presentation outline consists of introduction, method, and also application. Now, let's get to know what is tissue culture and what is the pine plant or pinus species and also how does the cultivation of the pine plant. So, tissue culture is the in vitro method to cultivate cell, organism, and tissue of plant or animal under the control condition with optimum temperature, optimum nutrient, optimum pH, etc. and etc. Usually, we do tissue culture in laboratory. Stone pine or pinus pinea L is the plant with diverse variety and popular throughout the world. The pine plant has a leathery bark and groove on the inside with a brown color. Besides that, the leaves of the pine plant are very easy to recognize because they are shaped like needles. The growth of the pine is classified as a type of plant that can grow quickly. Optimal areas for the pine plant to grow is with an altitude between 400 and 2000 mdpl. Pine trees planted at an altitude of less than 400 meters above sea level will cause a less optimal growth because the air temperature is too high which will affect the metabolism of the pine plant. In addition, the growth of pine trees at an altitude of more than 2000 mdpl will not be an optimal growth also, because it can inhibit the photosynthesis process of the pine plant. One of the most widely known pine varieties in Indonesia is Pinus mercusi species. This type of pine grow well in areas with an altitude more than 400 meters above sea level. This plant is used in large quantities of pulp and paper industry because of its strong fiber resistance. So basically, there are two conventional cultivation methods of pine tree. The first one is stem cutting. We can cut the pine trees anytime between summer and also before the new growth appears in the spring. But the best time to cut the stem of pine trees is from early to mid autumn, which is around September to October. And then the second method is air layering. The function of this method is to force pine plant to form a new roots and also a new cells at a certain point by interrupting the stream of nutrients from the existing root system. But this vegetative propagation is still classified as an ineffective and not efficient technique because it takes a long time and produces the lack of spring and also not suitable for industrial production. So that we need one alternative technique that can overcome this problem. Let me introduce you to tissue culture of pinus species using in vitro regeneration or micropropagation. So, before we go to the method, we need to make sure that all of you understand what is in vitro regeneration. So, based on the definition, in vitro regeneration is the growing and multiplication of cells, tissue or organ on defined liquid or solid media under controlled environment, while 
micropropagation is the regeneration of plant material under a septic environment to produce millions of plants for industrial needs. We're gonna talk about the methods for uh, this culture of pinus. We should do um, preparation for materials to do the dish culture of pinus. First, we need um, inactive apical shoots, and then we wrap them into uh, damp paper. After that, we put into um, polyethylene bags at 4 degrees Celsius, and then we clean them with. Um, bleach that containing active chloride for 30 minutes and we rinse them for 5 minutes and repeat it 3 times. The next step is we remove the bad scales and then we cut them into small pieces and put them into petri dish that has containing media. Uh, we're gonna talk about the bud induction and shoot formation. Okay, the shoot are input in 3D media, and then the pH of that media is just to 5.8, and then we do the sterilize for the media at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 15 milliliters of media is poured uh, into a battery dish and then we set the temperature of culture is uh, 22 degrees celsius and place them in in the photo period for 16 hours after the sheets ground we transfer them into the ER media and when the needle base length is more than 2 cm we cut it crosswise and then transfer into IM media and then the formation of auxiliary buds it occur um, for one month so we are gonna talk about the treatment function of tissue culture pioneers first one is the shoots are wrapped in the Jam paper to prevent the hydration, which is used as disinfectant to kill the pathogen, and then the shoot is rinsed uh, to make it clean from this infectant. Fill the petri dish with three small pieces of shoot because uh, it makes uh, effective growth of shoots. The pH is adjusted to 5.8 because it's optimum pH and then media is sterilized for 20 minutes to kill the pathogen after that the shoots uh, are placed in photo period for 16 hours to, to make it grow better and then we want to look at the photos of experiment okay picture A it's show that dormant buds it's from um, 15 years old pinus tree a picture B it's when the shoot is removed from buds okay you can see in picture C that it has three small pieces of shoots that place into a battery dish Yeah, picture D is a development of needle uh, fascicles on medium. Picture E is a uh, bad culture on elongation medium without, without side tokens. Picture F uh, show us the well-developed needles. Okay, the last picture is uh, auxiliary shoot formation. Hi everyone, 
Now I will be explaining about the application of cell cultured pine trees based on their economical value. The first one is that pine trees can be used into reforestation projects, commonly used in burn and drought areas. Pine trees can grow in adverse and dry area, that's why pine trees are commonly used as reforestation trees. This will cost us less expenses because pine trees can grow very easily. This will also help us reduce the cost to maintenance. That pine trees can be made into indicators of adverse abiotic conditions that are bad for the environment. Cultured cell pine trees are commonly made into ornamental trees in Mediterranean garden and city parks. Recently, scientists have discovered a way to make insect-resistant pine trees using controlled release formulation method to attract natural, in natural enemies of the insects, which we do not want at the city parks. Coming up is the video of a reforestation project in China.森林面积三十三亿居世界首位黄毛化土地连续净减少这个春景城貌一个伤疤也是我们整个生态环境方面一个伤疤我们就是要把这个伤疤修复好啊绿化好啊So the conclusion of uh, this discussion is stone pine or pines is really uh, popular and has um, diverse varieties in this world. Conventional cultivation of pines is an effective method because time consuming reproduction. Pine tissue, tissue culture is really effective way because it's really fast than the conventional one and then the pine trees is usually um, as a construction material adhesive industrial solvent and alternative medicine now here are the references that we use for this presentation Last but not least, thank you very much for your attention. I hope this information can be beneficial for all of you. Stay safe!